that's a beauty. There's so much to love about rugby league in this part of the world, and more than just the pork rolls at Warrington and the pies at Wigan. There's tradition and history and great grounds and great fans. And then there's the weather. And if you don't like it, well, you just have to put up with it. Tough titties. So Fiji will get the second half underway. Rain possibly at its, uh, its hardest and heaviest right now. Kevin Nagama it is to start. Oh, I think there's a try in Fiji, maybe even more. Oh, there's a fumble from Scott. Oh, good clean up there. That was uh, Cherry Evans who cleaned up at the back. He saved the day. He did so well. GI pulled out of it and it came off the shoulder of Scott. It was like he was clean bold and then picked up in the slips. Let's have a look at this. Pulled out of it, GI, off the shoulder of Scott. Is that Gully? Cherry Evans got it. And Australia with the ball 22 metres away from their own line. Smith, he will be replaced at some point, you would think, by Farrah. Although in the first game, Australia's lost it there. We had Farrah and Smith on the field at the same time. Fiji, early chance, second half. Seven receiver. Locks horns with Scott, bounces away from him. Is tackled there by Papali. Here was the ball coming loose. It's a tough night for both teams, these conditions. And if you keep that in account, the performance has been great from both sides. Driven back was Ragitha. Now, now let me say the raid's at its heaviest now. It's a monsoon and Suba as the kick is through. Back goes Boyd, takes it dead. Oh, this is Shades of 2000 right now. It is absolutely pelting down, almost at right angles, the raid. What a perfect little kick from Kevin Nagama, I think it is. Well, it might have been up in sight. No, Nagama. Just lovely weighted. Oh. A centre on the right edge for Newcastle. Now playing fullback, picking up skills all over the park. Have a look at this here at uh, Langtree Park in St Helens. Well, the world's not going to end because it's already tomorrow in Australia or in New Zealand. But uh, Vossi, they have rain like this in Fiji too. Yeah. Let me tell you. Oh, yeah, no, I Not remember that. Not unfamiliar territory here. Super League Nines back in uh, 1996. It closed out a day of that tournament. Here is Groom for Fiji, linking up with Bakuya. He's a good hole runner, Jason Bakuya. Tackled 15 metres away from the Australian line. This will warm up the crowd if Fiji can come up with a try. They'll get a penalty, Fiji. Well, they won't go for a goal now at 16-2. I thought the penalty should have been from his teammate, Lewis, over the top of Bakuya, and also Lewis, Cronulla teammates. Started up for Kane Evans, taking the first one from the Sydney Roosters Club. Five minutes away from the line. Big, big chance for Fiji. Coruscant has lost the ball. Inglis has got it. Inglis is downfield for 15 metres. Oh, that's disappointing. Early in the count and Coruscant, and now they can see the penalty on the back of it. So how quickly it turns and it, it silences the crowd here. Earlier today, England beating Ireland 42-0. Last night, New Zealand over France 48-zip. But on a positive note, both those matches watched by sellout crowds. At uh, Huddersfield earlier today, Huddersfield, and uh, last night at Avignon in France. And there's another game in France, Perpignan, coming up on Monday week. Samoa to take on France, and that ground holds 13,500, and it is sold out, the home of the Catalan Dragons. There's Cordner with the ball, on debut for Australia, 41 away from the Fiji line. Smith rolls them forward for Cherry Evans. Able to work that right side. Papali's getting a lot of game time out there tonight on Dabu for the Australians and scored the first try. Now, Cherry Evans back to centre field for Gallon. Spin and spin again. Lost it. Play on is the call. Smith is on to it. Over the top for Thurston. Thurston dummies to Lewis. Then a step. Thurston almost away. 11 metres from the line. Last tackle. Kangaroos. Smith, one of the kickers out of play. Cherry Evans, a good alternative. Kicks right for the corner. They're flying through. It's kept alive. They will score. Morris is over. Josh Morris scores the try. Hayne was the man with the leap. Australia have their fourth try. Great stuff. 20 points to two. Australia over Fiji.
tremendous kick there from Cherry Evans. Really well weighted, but a great leap out wide there from Jared Hayne. And on, on to Morrison, who did a great job to get it down with that left hand. But looking at it again, just plenty, no pressure whatsoever on uh, on the kicker there, Cherry Evans. So, you know, the, the, the Fijian team, they've, they've gone up the other end of the park. They've given away a penalty, gone the 100 metres and, uh, and, and let that try in there. Don't want to detract too much from the Fijians here, but Daryl Millard really needed to contest that football. Just turned his back on it and let Hayne go up and over the top yeah, yeah. and give the attacking player all the impetus to continue to play. Well, that is uh, that is match what happened in game number one, Australia versus England. Uh, England had an early opportunity to start the second half but couldn't get it going. Australia scored. It was Brett Morris who scored in the right-hand corner in Cardiff to start the second half. And now twin brother Josh has scored over in the far right corner to start the second half here against Fiji. All right, what does he do here? Is he put the two hands together again? He's kicking into the breeze now. Well, you've got to time it. The gusts is not quite there at the moment. The well, rain is steady. He did bow to the crowd in Cardiff. Here he goes, Thurston, for a second sideline conversion! Oh, he's a beauty! Jonathan Thurston, a goal-kicking clinic, has landed two from the sideline on one of the windiest and toughest nights you'll experience. Was this? The camera was following the kick. The kick of Evans as well. As you mentioned, Dave, spot on and there. Highlighted Millard just providing some sort of jumping block. For... Here it is, it curves. Oh, beauty. That is uh, getting the ball back to the centre of the fairway. What a kick. What a kick in these conditions. I'm going to take him. I'm going to take him down to Antarctica. See if he can land one down there. I'm going to set up two. Go, I set a goalpost and say, "Here you go, kicking this." Nude. There's Australia with the ball, 12 metres out from their line. I'm a bit sick sometimes, you know. I do come up with some weird ideas, but haven't had much sleep on this trip. Move on that one. Yeah, Australia, 20 metres away from their own line, and uh, Scott is with it now. He's been strong right from the first hit up. Matt Scott tonight for Australia. One stood on the bench, but his game time has had a lot of quality. Now Thurston! Thurston's away again! They're queuing up left and right, the Aussie! Oh! Thurston! He had so many options! He had one, two, three, four teammates to pass it to, and he couldn't find any of them! Well, Morris had already run past them. He was too fast. Have a look here, the bus is good. English on the inside covers two players, then the show and go. And away he goes, feigns to the left and then to the right, but Morris had already shot past. It's not quite the uh, Sonny Bill bomb try from, from Warrington last Sunday night, but gee, when you got four players in support, not good for, for JT. Last tackle now for Fiji in the meantime. and. They're doing it a little tough here. And uh, kick deep and skidding its way over the dead ball line and it will be a 20 metre restart. But yeah, that, that try has really hurt them because they had an opportunity 60 seconds or so before Morris scored and they give away a penalty and 30 seconds later Australia score and now the wind is out of their sails. Well, you just wonder how much petrol in the tank Fiji will have as this game progresses in the second half and that kick actually suited them from Aaron Groom to go dead, gives them a little breather, gets them set on the 20. Scott as far as the 40, around his legs, getting a lot of game time as Corusau, the uh, second choice dummy half, now Gallum. Off the bench tonight for Australia, the Cronulla Sharks and New South Wales State of Origin captain. Here is Smith, the Queensland State of Origin captain. Plenty of leaders out there for the Kangaroos. As a Cordner is 31 metres away from the Fiji line. Last tackle, Smith to Thurston. Thurston puts it through. Nagaman doesn't get anywhere near it. Uate's there. He's a player who's had some, some troubles during his career with a high ball. Well, he, he actually caught that one basically with the one hand with the right hand and it rolled around onto his hip and on his back. Did particularly well. Both Uate and uh, Sisa Wang are wearing those those skins tops, the thermal tops under the uh, under the jumper tonight. There's, uh, Ashton Sims is back out there. There's been tales from 
Kangaroo Tours, days gone by, Greg Alexander tells the story on the uh, Radio TUE sports show over in Sydney about wearing tracksuit pants when it's been really cold on the old-fashioned Kangaroo Tours. And now a chip over the top by uh, Noah Leia, but nice bounce there for Hayne. At least he tried something to 5 8. Why not at 22 to 2 down? Oh, nice work. I really think Fiji are enjoying their work. I mean, the Sims brothers are still charging into it. The interchanges coming off the bench are working particularly well. There's a sloppy play the ball there, didn't even play it with his foot. But they are enjoying this game, Fiji, down on the scoreboard, but, but more of it. Lewis skidding there, five short of halfway into the uh, clutches of Groom. And he goes Jennings. He finished the NRL season with the, the match ceiling try in the grand final. Papali's going off to the bench. Tamo's back out there, but he's hurt. Uh, Michael Jennings. Gee, he's got a bit of pain too, isn't he? Michael Jennings there. Cameron Smith also looks like his night might be over. Robbie Farah will get close to 30 minutes of this match. Let's see if we can detect what happened here for Michael Jennings in falling. Yeah. Maybe twisting in the tackle of Kane Evans. Let's have a look and see what happens. Kane Evans is a big tall one over the top and as he goes, oh yeah. 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 I don't know if it's an intentional crunching sort of tackle. Up and it, which is a good sign for Michael Jennings. Tim Sheens and David Ferner, the coaches of the Australian side. It's play now resumes, and yes, Robbie Farah is the dummy half now coming into the game in the 50th minute. And back for Cherry Evans to kick from 40 metres out. Nagama is there, he does well. Kevin Nagama, he's off to the Penrith Panthers next year in the National Rugby League. And a good take by him. I mentioned earlier, he, he really started, well, this is going to hurt Fiji. The mistake now in front of their posts. But on the Gama, he came to the fore at the end of the season in the uh, finals campaign for the Newcastle Knights. And then carries it into the World Cup with a man of the match effort first up. Sort of play they need a strike from in this uh, second half. Hasn't really been sighted this evening, Kevin. Had a marvellous game against Ireland in the opener. Setting up tries and then scoring tries himself before getting subbed late in the game and still picking up man of the match. Here we go. So, an opportunity for Australia for a scrum base play, and it is Farrow who darts away from Locke, the replacement hooker. Such it is the modern game. Wouldn't have happened back here when Alex Murphy fed a scrum for St. Helens, or not at this ground, but across the way. Hooker going in a lock forward, please. That's not what it's about. As a gallon has it for Australia, across to Thurston, up they come. It was Cesar Wanga looking for a big shot on him, didn't quite get it. Ten from the line, Australia, four tries on the board already tonight. Lovely short pass there by Scott, now it's come loose off Gallon, And you can see Gallon cursing after that. Lack of discipline with the ball. Fiji get possession and no advantage, so they will have a scrum feed 10 metres out from their own line. Yeah, they've just been a, you know, all over the place, really. Even the play before that, the timing wasn't right when it went out to Thurston, and, and there's been a few times where they've overrun Jonathan Thurston, and, and there, you know, they, they want more discipline when these big games come, and they can't afford to be turning the ball over like that. Keep the rules quick, guys. Well, is there, uh, I mean, it's a big ask to say in these conditions, slippery night and the rest, but is there some way they can bring Uate into the game to uh, to do what he does best? And he's done it at, 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 at the big stage. He's played Origin, he's played a handful of tests for Australia. Can he, can he be a player they bring into play here? And uh, now across field, and there's a lot of defence there as it is... Corabeto. Well, there's another player that they could get involved. It's not really a winger's night, but maybe get them in some sort of roving commission role in the centre of the field. Sims to play it. Fiji on their own 20. They're working out toward Uate's wing now. Wanga is with it. And uh, the Melbourne Storm back. Tackled short of the 30 by Jennings. He's recovered from that knock. Sivina Siva runs onto it. A great of the game. At all levels, Petro Sivanasiva. And from out of dummy half, the kick downfield from Corasau. And Inglis is to it. One big play in the first half from Inglis setting up the...
try on the left hand side of the field. Well, I think he produced three fins in the one run. Australia with 27 minutes remaining, leading by 22 points to two. Tamo over the advantage line. Big James Tamo. Bit of a battle, Tamo and Matt Scott. Neither scored a try this year in the NRL for the North Queensland Cowboys. They're looking to break their duck on tour with Australia. As Hayner's tackled just inside the Fiji half. Now Farrah on to Scott. Scott stands in the Sims tackle, has offloaded Farrah away to Thurston. Thurston's got it on to Jennings. He's light on his feet. Jennings now has scored. Jennings! Well, what was that? He's thrown a dart that's missed the board. Landed in someone's schooner glass. What about that ball from Jennings? Well, he tried picking up James Childs, the uh, touch judge there, and he was uh, he was too slow to catch it. Lovely work from Thurston. Knowing the ball had to go wide quickly, Jennings decides to come infield, then looking for his winger and Darius Boyd. And that's cold down there, and maybe the finger's not working as well as what he wants. The blood's not really flowing through them. But he threw it hard, too. He threw it hard and fast and forward and wide and into the fence for four at Langtree Park. They just know, though, don't they? Once they have a little bit of a chink in the armour up through the middle of the field, get it wide, get it to the speed. He's not actually a Fiji fan, that bloke. He's just cold. He's trying to get warm. He's grabbed a flag. As uh, the wind gusts across again here. And uh, Wanga is with it. Just inside the 20. So Fiji, they've been... Uh, They've been game, they've been plucky tonight, but can they produce a try? I think they can. And uh, now Sibina Siva gets it going, Groom just on the edge. They thought they had a little hole to get through there. He's been good, Noah Lea, he's, uh, he's really tried hard this 5-8. For Fiji, right on halfway. Same can be said of Coruscant. Going short side, kick over the top. Inglis will get across to it on the fingertips. This great athlete of rugby league. And there were doubts about him playing at the World Cup because he had that, that knee problem throughout the season with South Sydney in the NRL. But he looks fine here. There's no strapping on him. As uh, now Jennings with it. As far as the 30-metre line. Thurston's been good again tonight. And this is Boyd backing into the tackle there. Wait. Go, well, that Kane Evans. <coughs> big boy Kane Evans. Here's Tamo. You're talking about your big boys. Tamo Sue. Cherry Evans is there. Cherry Evans spreading away. Colin Benny won't get in. DCE Daily Cherry Evans scores for Australia. Their fifth try for the night after the run of James Tamo. This is beautiful play amongst your forwards. Lovely tip-ons. Miles, Tamo, beautiful position DCE on the inside. Cherry Evans, too much pace for the cover. Haven't seen a lot of this tonight, courtesy of the conditions, but it's good seeing the big guys, including Scott, pass the ball to his North Queensland teammate in Tamo to put a front row through a hole. The front rowers club love that, Dave. Yeah, very good footy. It was a nice wide ball from uh, Miles to start it, and then a nice little soft hands ball from Scott. Who, you know, <laughs> they talk about props not being renowned for doing that sort of stuff, but they certainly did there. And a big Tamo, he drew the fullback perfectly. Cherry Evans scored a try on his test taboo yeah, against Wales in 2011. You were at that game, Daryl. And uh, that was in the Four Nations. But tonight, he's in the starting side here trying to uh, to press his claims for selection in bigger matches down the track. Thurston's done well. I mean, that one's from in front, but he's landed four from five tonight and two from the touchline. And the one he missed was from the sideline as well. Bit of an anti-climax calling one from in front, isn't it, when John Thurston's kicking the ball? Lovely bust. Love seeing the front rowers carry the ball in two hands and look into position. Their support player. And just the timing of the pass, it looks easy but it takes a little bit of practice for the big guys. Did it well. You know, Cherry Evans, uh, looking at his uh, NRL stats going into this game tonight, you know, his three seasons of first grade rugby league, 27 games season one, 27 games season two, 27 this year as well. 
You are the best he's... train spotter I have met, well, Andrew I mean, Voss. But I mean, it's a it's a <laughs> lot of footy, you know. You know, he's played all the finals matches for his club, and he's he, he doesn't get injured, and now he's playing Origin as well into the mix. It is for the size of the bloke too. You know, he's not a he's not a giant of a fella. In uh, you know, the, the he does take some some tough punishment out there, and he does do a really good job for him. The next superstar of the game and. It's the problem there with the microphone of Darrell Halligan. We'll press on with play with Matt Scott. And now it's off from Lewis and it's not over the sideline. Little fumble there. They really ran out of space there. Jennings and Boyd in the slippery conditions anyway. You can't really go that close to the touchline. So that one was a play mucked up by the, the men in green and gold. And Fiji will have the scrum feed right on halfway. Still a lot of time to go. 21 minutes, and to be perfectly frank, the conditions right at the moment, as good as we've had them tonight. The rain's gone. The wind is uh, is not happening. So a chance to uh, to try a bit of footy with a little more confidence. Bossy, do you think uh, Tim Sheens will be happy with uh, some of these unforced errors that the Aussies are, are coming up with, or do you think he'll just say, you know, well, well let's put it down our second game on tour and we'll, we'll, we'll get better? Well, I think Tim Sheens is more happy than, than not happy tonight because I think they went out with a plan, they treated opposition with respect and taking conditions into account, I think the performance has been pretty good. You know, a few errors inside their own half and we saw Paul Gallen drop one and they've bombed a couple of tries as well, but I think in the main, pretty good performance so far, but still, they want to finish off. I believe that he'll be pleased because of the contest he's getting. This Fijian team is playing particularly well outside of the scoreboard. They're really giving them something to defend. Here's Sims. Back rows running at 5 8. 25 away from the line. Corusau with a little dummy and a dart and dancing around Isaac Luke style from the New Zealand side. Last tackle, Fiji. And a wide ball. And uh, the inexperienced 5 8 kicking for Inglis. Noah Leia tried his best. And he's got a result out of it. And then, drop out Australia. And there again, we see the, see the growth of the man. A young 5'8", lovely little tap onto the left foot. Finding the line, it's not easy to do when you step up to this level. He can put the ball in between two players. Waits it well into the line. Repeat set of six. Yeah. Time off. And time off here for Fita. Going back out there for Australia. Matt Scott come off. He, he appeared to be limping a shade for Australia. I'll, I'll keep an eye on him for you. As Cherry Evans with a line dropout. That wins back again. Didn't have much of a break, did it? It's like he did to change the wind here. And uh, Sims is the man running it back for Fiji. 35 away from the line. Corusau. And uh, Sivana Siva. Oh, penalty Fiji right in front. 20 metres out from the line. Quick tap, restart. Let's rock and roll again, say the Fijians. The crowd, they need that chance. Played by Sims, works the right side. Groom skips across, Bakuya! Bakuya can't offload, he's lost the ball as well. It's scooped up by Corusau. He's gonna say play on! Oh, Corusau has almost got there. It's come loose again. Well, they want to check this one as well. Pretty sure it was Apisai Corusau who picked up the ball and tried to follow his way low for the line. Ben Thaler is video referee, and it's over to him. First bit's backwards off Fiji. No, he's just released backwards. So, if we go from it to the back, if we just jog it right back, it looks like we've got a ball of steel of Australia that Fiji regathers. On that angle, it didn't look like they actually got the ball down. Okay, right. To just jog it back, let's just have a look now if the ball's grounded. We have a penalty um, to Fiji for a ball steal if this is not grounded because the ball could not take an advantage. 
my opinion. The ball is not grounded there or there. And in fact, it's lost. Rich, the first defence we've actually got is no tracks he knocks on, but we have a ball steal by Australia, two yeah. on one beforehand. So it's a penalty to Fiji for a ball steal. Yeah. Well, you've heard it there. I, I can't agree with a ball steal because Kurosau contributes to the loss of the ball as much as the player with his hand on the ball. He's trying to score it. You know, he's he's not worried about wrapping the ball under his wing and just going to ground with it. What about the skills of Coruscant, though? That was difficult to change the ball over. No try for sure. From the right hand to the left hand, and still head out for the line, and his Maxwell Smart would say, that's close. Yes. Well, you said appendage in the first half of Greg Inglis. That was a B's appendage away from scoring. So, penalty, Fiji. And it's still on for them. I've said all half. There's a try in then There may be two. If they get one, the dam may break. Sims will have a run at them. Ashton Sims. Now Fiji, Corusau. They go deep. Oh, high ball right over the head of Broom. And uh, they've lost 25 metres there on the play, Fiji. Wait, go. Corusau and a seven receiver. Wouldn't that be a moment if Petro scored Move. here? Move. Andrew up! In oh, his uh, oh, farewell Lally. appearance Go, in Rugby League. And this time, Corbin Sims. Locked into Four a tackle lights. there with Farah and Tamo. Go for And Cordner. Fiji, 10 from the line. Seven to Seaver is 5 8. Graham, oh, Makuya puts it down. And Australia have the ball. Double knock on. It will be an Aussie scrum feed. 10 metres away You're from the line, line but still. Jason Bakuya just yes. couldn't You're get right. a handle on this one. Hindsight a marvellous thing as they hit the front run and Bakuya, Sivana Siva, <laughs> passing the first pass and if they'd gone at the back they had a three on two. Yeah, Kevin Nagama wrapping round, yeah. Yeah. So taking right. on Jennings. Yeah. 17 <laughs> minutes to go at uh, Langtree Ups. Park here in St Helens. Another couple of World Cup matches coming your way One. tomorrow. Move. You'll be Slow able to watch ways. the action from Go. the race course ground in Wrexham with Wales against USA and Two. Scotland to Move. play Italy up, up at Derwent Park in Workington. Dave Woods, you're going up there. One of your favourite places ready for a good game of rugby league. A hard one to tip. Very, very Move. tough game to tip. Race. And uh, ways, I'm sure ways. the, uh, the Cumbrians will, will support it very well. There'll be a big crowd there. On a Sunday afternoon, Get they're saying 9,000 sellout. Hold. I think you'll find in go, go. in Workington for that one. As uh, now the ball with Fafita, there's that that fend and bump again from Hold. Fafita. They can't get Race. the big fella to ground. Remembering he's on his honeymoon at the moment. Go. Got married the day before the Australian side yeah. left to come on the World Cup tour. And the deep ball fielded by Uate. looks up. <coughs> plenty of Australian jumpers there. Uate offloads. Wanga with the ball, but flat-footed. And uh, Jennings there, and Relax. Boyd had a leg, so boys, Fiji start to sit inside their Two. 20, uh, 28 to 2. So well, he had the one try the Two. second half, Move. the uh, four-pointer to Daly Cherry Evans. Go, Two. And uh, this time Nagama. Three, release. Oh, now Boyd. Go, three. And now outside the 30, and it is uh, Corbin Sims. Corbin Sims up over the 40 metre line. In fact, move. it was 16 to 2. We've had Tackle the two forward. tries. Go. Josh Morris getting the other one in this uh, second half. So Sims boys Last. putting their stamp on it now. Move, in this set, at Go. least four for Fiji. Last tackle. And uh, high it goes. Oh, good. And long the kick. Boyd yeah, yeah, is back it. inside the 10, now inside the in goal. And that's just a win getting hold of that one. And there'll be no hurry for the Australians to restart it from the 20. No one running it up. But such is the win here. You've got to pick your moment. Other times it, it seems relatively still and letting you get these these uh, strong gusts Move. coming across. Petro, on side. Go. They've just finished, or uh, well, not long, the panelling at the back Two. of the stands. And for Move. those of you watching from parts outside Foster of the United Kingdom, it's terraced at, at both ends of Ashton, the ground. Come on. But it was a little exposed Three. here Move. up until recently. Go. Need a better than that. Now for Fita. Over halfway he goes. 
Hold. Fafita's shown enough ball. in the two weeks, I reckon, Daryl, to say he's going to be in the top 17 through this tournament. Good ball inside. Inglis got that a left arm free. Pass to Lewis. Line ball. Lewis stepping. Lewis. A score. Lewis gets over for the Kangaroos. But it's a try that has the DNA of Greg Inglis all over it. 32 to 2. I was just about to say these two teams have been going set for set for the last five or six sets and it's become a little bit flat. There's a top quality match going on in the balance and then they come across the ruck and they go to Cherry Evans or the Melbourne Storm do this. They go one side and then the other and Inglis back on the inside brushes away from a tackle and they're queuing up. I thought Cherry Evans might have got a double but he finds Lewis, yeah. the Cronulla, former Penrith, back rower, too much speed. Nice little jinx. Beautiful rugby league. But you're right. When you've got a man with the calibre of GI just hunting along the inside and there's half a break, steps in and selfishly finds support players around him. He is the real deal. Dave, you uh, coach up here in England with Whitehaven. I don't think Whitehaven's going to get their, uh, their hands on Greg Inglis, but... But what if somewhere down the track a Greg Inglis could come and play in this part of the world? What would it do to the game over here? I think you know, look, a bloke like him coming over here it really does, it, it electrifies the crowd. They, they love to see good footy over here and, and a bloke like him, you know, a Billy Slater type, but Greg Inglis especially, just big, strong, powerful, quick. That's they the love it. They, they'll come out in droves. Well, he's a different size of athlete, but Super League fans will see Matty Bowen next year for Wigan. But Inglis is the whole package, size, just athlete. I mean, you can play him anywhere. He is, you know, but they, they love the, the blokes that are, that are electric, that can do anything with the ball, that can do anything on their on their feet. If, if Greg wants to come to Cumbria, I'm sure... Uh, <laughs> look, I, I, yes. I'd certainly, I'd yes. certainly have a look at trying to fit yes. him somewhere. You could, you could, you know, subsidise his contract with pies or something, something from the local produce line, can well, you? Well, look, we, we'd sort something out for him for sure. I'd, you know, we'd, we'd have a combination of on it. <laughs> hold, hold! Beautiful Go stuff. On. Lovely stuff. Pub meals, uh, whenever he likes. So, there it is. There's the exclusive. Cumbria Two as a race. united front. On side uh, looking to get Go Greg Inglis two. across here. In the old days, the Kangaroo Twos used to open with well, very early on, they'd always play Cumbria on the tour. As the ball comes across to Jennings, Jennings goes inside the half. Boyd has now got it. And good Three. scramble. Oh, no. and, you know, there's the commitment Back. of Fiji. Lots of chases. Wait, there wait. were five defenders across. Oh, Boyd's been hurt there for Australia. Thurston with the ball. Fafida on the inside run. Four release. But he has put the it's ground the ball, 30 metres away Go from the line. Four. Boyd still hobbling in back play. Farad dabs I'm one sorry. over the top. Here comes Lewis, the former Penrith winger. Doesn't get there. Three are into the fence. Oh, that's hurt, Lewis. He's in trouble here. Well, this is a bit of drama here for Australia. Luke Lewis is in a lot of pain here. He has been injured. Crashing into the advertising hoarding. Oh, this is uh, this is bad. He immediately for Australia. Hurls forearm, bossy. Luke Lewis goes oh. for it, then has the weight of Jennings and another sliding in behind him. But this is a most unfortunate moment for Luke Lewis and the Australian side. It is right underneath the camera position in the corner here at St Helens. But you can clearly see the pain on the face of Luke Lewis. Behind that advertising hoarding, you've got the... Uh, well, it is the, the concrete. There's not a whole lot of give there. It is always a danger in grounds in Northern England. To be quite honest, there is more room around the perimeter of this ground than some others that we will visit. I've got a funny feeling. It's his left. He's left, holding it there. Left, left wrist, wrist or forearm. And it seems to hit the edge of the advertising hoarding. I'm too sure if there's an aluminium strip or a metal strip that joins them there as well. So that wouldn't do him any favours. Oh, not good. Not good at all. Uh, Luke Lewis. Remember some years back, Marcus by Melbourne storming it suffered a terrible laceration on a, an advertising sign down in Melbourne.
caused him all sorts of damage. Boys. But uh, this one not Let's helping go, the cause, adding to the impact of the collision. He had Nagama, he had Michael Jennings on his back. The force of those bodies Let's go, as boys. well. Let's go. Pushing Lewis further. Let's go, boys. This is a, a, reset. a hard luck story, this one. For Australia. And we bring. And they're in no hurry to, to move Luke Lewis. You know, the way they're lifting him there, that maybe it's collarbone or shoulder. Not not wrist, is it? Or is it? They seem to have that left arm somewhat immobilised. All right, we'll keep you up to date with that. We have Natalie Quirk down on the sidelines. She'll uh, give us the, the doctor's report as soon as we find out the news. 34 to 2. 11 oh, minutes to go. Oh. Australia over Fiji. And uh, the Fijians will stick to their task. But uh, Australia lose Luke Lewis. He's been assisted towards the Australian tunnel now. Fiji on halfway. And the Sims boys are being strong. Really committed for the cause tonight. Corbin and Tarek. He was the man running at that time. And uh, Ashton up in the front row. And there was Ashton as a first receiver. And it comes. The gama has got it. Uate gets his chance. Takes on Boyd. Plenty of helpers there as well, though. Jennings and oh! Thurston there. Relax. Uate just Duck hasn't had the room go. to move tonight. And that's a credit to the Australian defence as well. There's groom bombs. Not a good one from 35 metres out. Easy for Inglis. Well, he, uh, he almost teases the defence who are offside, in fact. Kick. 12. So it all comes unstuck there for Fiji. The kick, Disappointing end to a good set of six from Fiji coming out of their own end. The cloud with Luke Lewis at Plath as he gets pretty close to the tunnel. Here's the kick, just checking the onside. Yep. Players deemed to be inside the 10. Inglis, once he caught the ball, just stood and looked, didn't he? <laughs> the guy was wondering where he was going to go. It was like, come and get me, but uh, I don't think they wanted to rush him too quick. The way they've they've taken Luke Lewis off while we're watching this play nice. unfold, I've, I've had the binoculars on him, but it's almost like it may be some sort of partial Go. dislocation yeah. of the left That's shoulder. The, the way they've held the arm out as he's come from the field as Tamo will get a more nice. definite report on him between now and full time. Go. Australia 41 metres away from the line. Farrader Thurston, Thurston on the outside and Cordner. Move. Cut down, good Great. tackle. Uate well. coming in off the wing. Now Farrer again. Australia inside the 20. Offloading to Fafita. Great. Fafita back to Backwards. Farrer. Dribbles it Backwards. out the back. Evans can't pick it up. Now he can. Play on Australia. Backwards. Tackle count restarts. Now play on Fiji if they like. No. Well, that's all First a bit one. messy, all of that. A bit of a comedy of errors. No advantage. Derek Sims couldn't pick the ball up on the run either. The ball's... Loaded back. Everything's Tarek's backwards. there in 11. Got a knock on by Straight through well. the legs of Jerry Evans. Knock on. Yep. And then knock on both ways. Just settle down. Pack the scrum. Yeah, just keep it stable, mate. OK? So, scrum to pack down. Yeah, mate, 20 metres out from the line. And it will be closer, a little more pressure on closer, Fiji mate. here. Out. Australia have got a few scrum plays, it would seem. They came up what? with a try to Slater. Woo! Sims, Cardiff from the scrum close to half time. Aussies now 15 away from the line. To release Ashen. And, uh, Wait. Let's see if they can finish Go. with a flourish at 34 to 2. Farah. Oh, risky. Right up on the line. It was pressure on Fafida to come up with a catch, and Farah doesn't like it. So early in the count, and Fiji will now have. The scrum feed as things get tackle, a little scrappy, and I think the Australians in some regard tackle. are a little rattled by the injury to Lewis. Sleep, yeah, yeah, sometimes oh, yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that can take the momentum off you. It takes a little while to get back into your rhythm, find a set of six, and go back to the basics. This pass pushed across, across the front. Good D, yeah, mind you. Been happy close, with Rakitha and also yeah, Vuna What? Backwards. So 15 Go. metres away from the line, Fiji have the ball. Two and, uh, Sims is the man taken down, Go. Tarek. Two. Crowd, good one too. 14,137. Here Three. to watch Australia play Fiji. Another big crowd at a World Cup match. And That's I've got to four. tell you, Move. to, to the use the colloquial, it has been Go. a bludger oh. of a night weather-wise. 
but the fans have turned up in force as the kick over the top. This is dangerous. Inglis, though, sliding across. He's That's there one. again, and Grace. Inglis, a prime line contender for one. man of the match tonight at 34 to 2. Six and a half to go. Again, Fiji two. high on completions on in the second half, and the left Seven. foot of Nuoyala coming to play on the forward. left side. Shot on the 10, shot on the 10. And now another run for Fafida, so strong Three up top legs. and Seven five short of halfway. Go, Robbie Farah on the Tamo, Tamo to Thurston, no, oh, but Kuya thought he, he thought he had a big one on him. Four, Still hurt Thurston, up. the throw down and the tackle go, of go. Vunakethe. This is Tamo, another run. I've liked the work of Tamo and Matt Scott tonight oh. for Australia. Because it's been an aggressive forward pack they're dropping, up against. But they've made plenty of metres, plenty of carries. Cherry Evans kicks low. And uh, fielded on the roll. Conobete will bring it back. And uh, Marika has tackled 18 One. metres out from the Move. Fijian line. Square, boys, With square. five and a half to go. go. So the underdogs so far this weekend. Weekend two of the Rugby two League World Cup have not go. come up with a try. Go France. Two. And Ireland, and now Fiji tonight. Three, Jonathan up. I guess sometimes as the match three. wears on, you sometimes don't feel like the physicality of the match is what it was at That's the start. Right. And you consider Michael. someone like Brett White, the go Irish front row, said after the Fiji game, he was the sorest he's been of any game in his play life. And he's played Kangaroos, play. an Origin veteran go. NRL player. This is Groom. Goes low with a kick. And uh, again, Inglis is there. They're sick of the side of him. Good tackle. Oh, Little groom on G.I. Nice work. Nice moment for him. Cherry Evans. Out it comes to Hayne. And uh, Hayne is put down on the 30-metre line. We can tell you, man of the match tonight, Jonathan Thurston. Kangaroos 5'8". And you can add to his man of the match performance to absolutely magnificent sideline conversions in a wind... Four that wouldn't out. be out of place somewhere on Everest. Hold. Let's go Hold. down to the sideline. Natalie Hold. Quirk with the news on Luke Lewis. Outside, OK. Well, he walked straight down the uh, the pitch and straight down the tunnel to the medics' room, uh, just holding his left arm and his yeah. left side and uh, looked in a bit of quite a lot of pain, actually. The initial reports coming out of the medics' room is that he's got a dislocated shoulder. Yeah. If we do get any further update there, we will let you know. Yeah, well, there it is on Luke Aaron. Lewis. Aaron. And that is terrible right. luck. It's Keep the circumstance the of the injury. Any injury is bad news, but the circumstance of it, that it line. wasn't a tackle, it wasn't a run, it's a slide into the fence, and it's just unfortunate. And Luke Lewis, one of the the, the, the top 17 yeah, of Tim Sheens. If uh, you, you've got to think, his World Cup's over. World Cup over, dislocated yeah, shoulder. Let's go. Heads in for me. Medics do marvellous jobs, and you see it again here. Goes to slide. Ball had gone dead. Second guess one, whether he could have, maybe could have pal palmed it back, up. perhaps, was maybe the Go intention. One. So into the final four minutes of the game, there we race. go. Oh, Dali! Oh. And uh, Fiji still trying their level best. If you missed earlier in the match, they did have opportunities. They, they just lacked that, that class factor inside the Australian 20. But uh, their work Stop. across the park, their, their effort Five and their forwards goal. has been mighty goal. strong tonight. And Australia will know, they'll, they'll feel it tomorrow as well. There's been some great camaraderie in this tournament too at the end of matches with opposition teams visiting each other's changing sheds as well. Last night we saw New Zealand head to the France shed. You see a kick go in from Kane Evans, is it? <laughs> Big that was a good one, I like that. It wasn't too bad. And such is the camaraderie, I believe Australia will jump straight into the Fiji sheds after the game tonight too and uh, share a Coke or a beer or whatever they may with them. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what will happen. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Jared Hayne at full time joins the prayer of the Fijian players after the game. That's what will happen. Last night down in Avignon, an agreement between the two coaches, Richard Agar and Stephen Kearney, whoever lost Go. the match was going to be three. straight into the, the other dressing room at full three. time. So you had the two teams, three, three. you know, share a drink, share a story and experience after four. the game. What, what, a, what a great me, show that me. is. More of it. Go, 30 four. metres away from the line, Australia versus Fiji here. From uh, Langtree Park and St Helens, there's the, the infamous, the famous Pass. bumper Move. for Fita. Foot on the ball. Last tackle play, Go. Boyd 
Farrer wants it. It's going to be Farrer to bomb high. No, he Good goes up. low. He kicks across. Hayden was there, doesn't get it. Shoulder. Fiji Carr! Oh! Intercept! Thrown away! Thrown away to Morris! What? You couldn't get a better Ooh. pass. I was oh, going to say, don't line. throw it to him. Go. Now, Jerry Evans with that 90 seconds to go. Australia with a chance to score. Help! Scott is held by three defenders. Nice. Go at line, 34 go points to two, Farrah go. held two. there at dummy half and drifts across field, runs out of options. The defence oh. hunts it again. Vinakete is the man Tackle with a hair. The Makes go. the tackle on Farrah. Cherry Evans, Thurston, Thurston on to Nate Miles. He doesn't get too many tries, Nate Miles. It'll be a big moment if he got one Tackle here ball. in the green go. and gold. Farrah again, Thurston out in front. Thurston out the back, here they go, oh, Jennings again! It's like he's throwing a watermelon or something, he, it's not a football he's trying to pass. Yeah, trying you to don't that do that with football. Yeah, he's trying to put that touch judge in for a four-pointer. <laughs> nice line, Dave. <laughs> yes, he might Plus succeed. Seven, boys. Oh, good. Well, look at, look at this. Plus oh, dear, oh, me. Dear, oh, me. Oh, what about this innocent? What about this pass? Beautiful from Sims. Uh, but this is a great go. tackle here. Look let's at go, that. Mate. That's a that's a try saver there. Okay, yeah, that's New Year. Lay up. He's got his work cut out for on Michael Jennings, hasn't Can he? Here on the on the left go. today. Go. Some Ball say in. he might be just holding a spot out. for GI to jump back in there. So we get into the final seconds One. of the game. Stand Move. by for the big ship to uh, pass by and go blow on. the hood up. Because the crowd, they've had a big night, there you go. <laughs> and uh, it's hard to miss that. I heard that in Huddersfield, that one. So full time tonight here at Langtree Park in St Helens. And well done to the two teams that have put on a show in tough conditions. And even better, the atmosphere that the fans here in St Helens have provided. Full time tonight, six tries by the Australians. Five goals to Jonathan Thurston. Australia 34, defeating Fiji 2. The second match for both these sides in Group A of the World Cup.